I've already primed my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion. You can use any kind of base or primer. Um, pretty much most of the drugstore companies make one. Um, next I'm going to take the Revlon Illuminance Cream Eyeshadows. This is in Skin Lights and I'm going to take the lightest color. I'm um, just going to use my fingers and pat that on. I'm taking the CoverGirl Trio in Shimmering Sands and my flat shader brush. This is the MAC 239, but you know, any shader brush will do. So on the one side, I t I'm taking the lightest color here. Tap off the excess so there's no fallout. And then I'm just going to go starting on the inner corner and pat this onto the inner two thirds of the eye. I'm just going to flip the br brush around and use the same one in the medium color here. Again, tap off the excess and then blend this into the lighter color, tapping it gently on the outer third. And then blend the two together in the middle. And then get a little bit more um, on the very tip of the brush, tap off, and then bring this up into the crease. I'm going to take my MAC 219. It's a, it's a, um, a pencil brush. It's very dense and small. Helps working in the outer V, and I'm going to take it to this darker color. Um, Sony Kashuk makes a very similar brush, uh, and I don't have it right now. <laughs> but you can pretty much find a dupe for most of the MAC brushes almost anywhere. So take this and go into my outer V. And then bring this up. I like to bring the color, the darker color, over about halfway. And then bring this back out and kind of create a, defini a definitive V. And then blend this into the colors. Tap this into the darker color again and then bring it down below. And then I like to make sure it matches up kind of up here. Next you're going to take, um, I like to clean up, go back and clean up with a big fluffy brush. Um, and what I use instead of just a highlight color, I'll, I like to use my powder. Just dab it in, tap it off, and go through and fix any mistakes that you made or clean up the edges. Especially when you're using um, a more shimmery palette. Take the same brush, go into the highlight color. I'm using the Revlon Matte Shadow. This is in Vintage Lace. You can quick wipe off the same big fluffy brush. Dab it in. You don't need a whole lot. Tap off the excess. And then just press this into right underneath the brow bone and then sweep it down just slightly I'm gonna take my shimmering sands and a small detailer brush um, right into that lighter color tap off the excess and then Go in right 
of the corner of the eye here. And I take my blending brush and just blend everything together so it flows smoothly. So next I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes using the Shulmora Lash Curler. And then go in with my Maybelline Falsies um, Mascara. go ahead and zoom out. Um, this is kind of the final look with the eyes. Zoom out and then show you guys how I finish off the face. Blush. Um, I'm using the NYC Blushable Cream Stick. Um, what's nice about cream blushes is that they give you a nice flushed look and they last pretty long. Um, taking this just along the apples of my cheeks and by that you can, if you smile, you can mind your apples and then kind of work this up and then use my hands, my fingertips to blend this out. To keep it real simple, I'm just going to use a tinted lip uh, or a lip gloss. This is Magenta Mint. This is by the CO Bigelow. Um, one of their lip tints, I think is what they call them. Ew. This one like exploded. Okay. And then just add that directly onto the lips. So this is the final look. Um, pretty simple, pretty neutral. You have super neutral eyes. Um, I don't use, I didn't use any eyeliner when I was in school. Um, I typically didn't use eyeliner. I also, when I go to work, if I wear makeup, I don't usually use eyeliner. Um, just because I feel like I don't need to really bring a whole lot of um, drama to my eyes. So, yeah, super easy, super neutral. Um, if you want, you could take a powder brush, go over the cream blush. Just grab this. Um, I'm using NYX. This is NYX Mauve. And dab it on the brush. And just kind of work it in. And that'll help set the powder, or set the cream blush. And this will pretty much last you all day. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, leave a comment below, and I will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye!